Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is uh, weekly challenge number 83, one tune, three styles, or one melody, three styles, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I wrote a simple composition that's a melody with some chords. S simple. And then we're going to put it through three styles. And in this case, my three styles are chip tune, got to love it, reggae, and rock. I don't know why. Those are the three that I felt like fit possibly what I was trying to do based on my tempo and would be interesting for me to do. So we're going to do. And I actually already did the chiptune one because to do all three in this two hour time period is not going to happen. And there's a two hour time period, which is when I'm going to uh, make the thing. And then we're going to listen to other people's things that they made, which happens at the end of that two hours, uh, which I'm very excited for. So if you want to participate, if you're in the future watching this or you're here now and you don't know how you arrived here, you can participate in these challenges just by going to the link in the in the description of the video, which takes you to a Discord server called Sonic Sorcery. And that's where this all happens if you want to participate there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it because it's going to be a thing. It's going to definitely push my ability <laughs> to uh, do this in a timely manner. We'll give it a shot. Um, so... Uh, can you hear me fine? Hopefully, everybody who's here, welcome to Yashua, Maddie, Baby, Jonah, Colonialist. Nice to have you, as always. I know the uh, time change messed everything up, so probably a lot of people are not here because they're expecting it to start in an hour, and they're going to come midway through, and maybe that's better. Maybe they show up and it's all kind of done, they're like, damn, this is maybe the way. Let's do this. Okay, so, Fiffle, hey, Fiffle, welcome. So, what I'm going to do first is... Um, play for you the original thing, the little piano reduction, I don't know what you want to call that. I call it the blueprint, template, whatever it is, reference thing. And it's a melody with some chords, uh, which I sat down and wrote the other day. And then I'll play you the chiptune version, which is nearly complete, probably needs a little bit of work here and there. And then we're going to get into doing the reggae version and then the rock version. And then we're going to see if we can actually blend them all together into one We'll see. It's going to be interesting. I'm in the midst of uh, updating the studio here a bit, so sorry if it's kind of, you know, I'm going to have my second angle here. Let's see. Do I have the second angle right now? There we go. Hello. When I play guitar and stuff, I'm going to sit here, but it's all like, you know, messy and such. So, excuse. A time will come. So, for now. Oh, here we go. Awaiting notes. Notes have arrived. <laughs> Adam Neely lights. I've always had them. <laughs> I just usually have them in different configurations. But I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I do have a tree. I do have a tree in the studio. And soon the tree will uh, <laughs> have lights on it and all that. It's a huge uh, branch from an arbutus tree, which is my favorite type of tree, and they're everywhere around here. And Megan and I lugged it back into the house after finding it at the side of the road, basically, and managed to fit it in here. And yeah, I love it. All right. So, away with us. Now, So let's listen to this piano thing first. Now there's a uh, two beat pickup, as it's called in the piano, which means it doesn't, the first thing you hear is not beat one, just so you're aware. It's gonna probably mess with your head, but it will make sense later. I'll let it play twice around so you kind of get the gist, and then we'll see. Can you hear this? Nope, nope, you can't. Now you can. Okay. Hey, Astor, thanks. <laughs> so here we go. This is the kind of blueprint piano reduction melody thing. Here we go. And the chiptune thing, which I don't want to sound right now.
Yeah, that's it. So, <clears throat> yeah, colonialist, if you had read the description of the challenge, you would know. I gave a little workflow in there that said, make a piano blue. You know, you don't actually have to do that, but I did write about it, just so you're aware. <laughs> All right, so that was that. Now, this is this. This is the chiptune version, which is sounding pretty good so far. Probably is louder than the piano. The piano is pretty quiet, so here we go. Parallel movement exam failed. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, so I'm going to do a quick just explanation of what this is for anybody who's interested now or the future. Um, I look forward to playing whatever video game is lucky enough to have you do the music. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I hope to do it someday. It would be great. Um, yeah, so uh, I just took the piano reduction, pulled it down, and of course every instrument is monophonic, and I tried to limit it to legitimately what a, a NES and NES and an original Nintendo can do in terms of voices. However, there's a trick, and all, all the chiptune guys use this trick, which is that certain cartridges on the old Nintendo actually can give you more uh, voices to work with in a variety of different ways. Uh, so, what I did was pull the chords down and arpeggiated them in this triangle sound. These are the exact voicings that I used in the piano. Hey, M. Alexander. Obviously it changes keys there, sort of. Okay, so that's that. Uh, underneath that, there's a bass that's just going. So on. Then uh, we've got the little plucks here. In the middle, we've got these three little doohickeys that... ...accent the chord of the moment, uh, the drums... Notice that the the structure is not usual. It's a 12 bar structure, I think. You know, like it plays four and then it has an extra beat and then, yeah, or an extra bar. So it's kind of an interesting flow, I think. Uh, then we have the melody and we have a counter melody, which I don't know how to show them very obviously, but uh, the melody is doing this and the counter melody is doing this. We'll turn these off. Maybe leave the arpeggio on. Counter melody was not in the original piano, right? Neither was all these little arpeggio things. So that's all the orchestration of the thing, right? Um, Astro says, such a nice challenge. Looking forward to hearing the submissions. Have to go back to studying. Hey, no problem, Astro. Nice to see you. I'm gonna mute my phone. Okay, so then the second section, we switch the melody to uh, a soft triangle thing. 
with these pulsing uh, middles of the chord. And the bass. And then we've got this like white noise thing that actually is kind of interesting. It like walks in steps. And is th there throughout the whole. Yep, you always go with, with Game Boy limitations. Oh yeah, I really like the NES limitations. These are all uh, contact, but they're all this thing. Uh, Super Audio Cart, that's what I use. It's awesome. It's just, uh, it's sample based, not synth based. And then you can select your game console and they've got all the stock sounds in there and a bunch of presets and whatever, it's great. I've been trying to find an excuse to use it, and here we are. Okay, so now, reggae. That's pretty funny, uh, DJ, that you did reggae and rock as well. So now we're competing, just so you're aware. Okay, so that's all good. Now, reggae. Reggae, okay, so rubber meets the road here. I have to actually have to do something. Okay, and I want the reggae version to be swung, because you know. So I'm going to leave the piano on for the moment. It's not going to be swung. bar in there it's going to be interesting to do like a standard thing so uh, reggae achieved reggae achieved we have this you need to be like this perhaps these guys can be right on wait what was what thing Where there were waveforms, but in MIDI. What? You mean like this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're a crazy person. Now here, um, that's the drum view in Studio One. It's not a piano roll, it just limits the keys to whatever you've got and then gives you a grid of those. They're not waveforms, no. They're just uh, little triangles that are showing transients, basically. <clears throat> what? Oh, I'm on... Oh, right, because I'm at double tempo. It needs to be eighth swing.
They are in a wave pattern, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do... Keep it simple. Do this. Do this. Let's get another hit in there. Buka. Okay, so that's nice. This here. Oops. And close it. And we'll get a drum and fill going later. So that's fine for now because I don't know what my bass is going to be yet. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to try to make this part of the groove first, just to see if it's actually working, like I think it's going to, and then we'll do the rest. So, now the question is, my uh, original template thing here, of course, is using a bunch of fancy chords, because it's how I live my life. Now, should we reduce those to triads for the reggae version, which would be an interesting contrast to hear it done in triads, or should we leave them extended because that's interesting in reggae because <laughs> we don't hear, hear that normally it's not stylistically correct though right so i don't know anyone got an opinion on that triads or leave them extended the rock one is probably gonna be triads or less <laughs> less than triads triads all right let's try it Let's try at it. So I've got an organ here. As long as they're two and four, yeah, of course. So what chords am I playing? thing. Yeah. Okay, let's try that and just see the first little bit here. What's that chord? Oh, B flat. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just move these a little bit by hand to get the feel we're looking for. Because apparently I can't play the feel. Maybe not this early in the morning. If I had that extra hour of sleep, this would all be played perfectly. Mark my words. This is like a super common uh, organ pattern in reggae. If you don't know, they play this like ooh -eh, ooh, ooh -eh, ooh kind of situation, which is what my hi-hats are actually doing as well. Bob Maxley. <laughs> yep. We did do a reggae challenge before, some might remember.
indeed they are. However, I thought that was only on guitar. Maybe I'm wrong. Quite possibly, I'm, I'm very, very wrong. Now, the real question that all of you need to be pondering right now is, what plays the melody when it's not, when there's no vocals and it's a reggae track? Horns, basically, is what I thought. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, trumpet. I don't know if I have a good trumpet. I've like hardly ever used trumpet in my music. Now, should we get a big... You know, like on every thing like this. Oops. Steel drum. Could be cool, actually. Do do do. Okay, so this. Now, I'm just going to fully realize this section just to make sure before I go do the rest that that it's going to work. So we're going to get a guitar on there to <laughs> hand pan. Yeah, the, uh, very different instruments, but I know what you're talking about. You don't often hear steel drums that much in reggae, not played like they are in like kind of uh, Calypso and, and Caribbean styles. Yeah, hang drum. You don't really hear that too much either, but it would be cool. All right, so now. The bass, the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass. I need a melody. I mean, I've got my swam stuff. I don't, do they have a trumpet? I'm just kind of scared to use it. No, they don't. Sax. Eh. I've got the BBCO stuff, but it's going to be like, yeah, we're going to have to use like contact or something, right? So let's make contact appear. Now this is this old contact. I don't want you. I don't want you at all. The new contact. So native instruments, you make that. Contact seven, here we are. Just record three flats away from the mic. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, this is going to output to instrument bus. I've never used it. I've got a session horns thing. I'm pretty scared to use it. Maybe we'll try to use uh, the analog brass. I don't know. Session horns, let's find out. Um, performance. But does this have an actual just straight up trumpet? I have no idea actually. Full section. I guess not. Hey, this is like for doing just like horn stabs. This isn't for like um Cuba trumpet isn't too bad. Yeah, you can solo the trumpets. Oh really? TP1 and TP2? <laughs> to use this. <laughs> um, let's see. I need to get it to be controlled by my uh, doohickey as well. How do we do that? There's some way to make this set to uh, be controlled. Oh, here. Oh, CC11. Come on, not mod wheel. I'm going to have to do it by hand because I don't have this assigned. And they don't let you change this? Come on now. Anyway, um, I 
Should be a. No. Okay, let's just see. Is this going to work? Let's just get it down, I guess, and see. Low notes, I know, but if we go higher. Because then. <laughs> hey, Frio. I don't know that it does. I mean, they usually they would play in like t two or three parts, so maybe we'll harmonize it and we'll, we'll see how it goes. But for now, let's just try to get this, try to get this sounding somewhat decent. Okay. Oh, it's not modulation, god damn it. Expression. The animator one shot rhythm swing dynamic, that must be it. Nope. Nope. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just record my controller. Get rid of you. How do I bring that pop up up? It is here. No, it's here. Little three dots. Okay, so. Um, see, it doesn't play monophonically, right? It's like actually playing, it's gonna overlapping notes don't do anything good for me. Hey Chris, yeah, there's a time change here, so it all got screwed up. Yeah, I wish this had a legato mode. Is the does the Cuba trumpet have legato? Do we know? That timing is almost perfect with this uh, Sforzando. That's pretty good anyway, let's keep it. Take this down like this. Take this down. Try key switches. I have swam brass Frio, but it doesn't have a trumpet, I don't think. Or maybe, did I? I Maybe I don't have swam brass. Audio modeling. I have so many swam things, but maybe I I just got the reeds. Do they have an actual brass with trumpets? Oh, I don't think it sounds very good, does it? I remember listening to it. Oh, I 
hate the way this is doing this. Yeah, this it does show me I need to get a free uh, trumpet, and that free one that uh, that what's his name always uses elbow is great. Hey, David, welcome. Okay. Not bad. It's okay. So <clears throat> we've got that. Now let's copy this over. This is this little extra bar, which is inverted um, chords from outside the key. So let's play them like, I don't know, this. This and this. This. Uh, this. And then this can be um, this and Keep it back down like that. Yeah. Yep. All right, so that's kind of the main part there. Let's loop that and see what we can do. The horn just needs like way more reverb on it, which we'll do. And maybe we'll double it with something too. A solo brass bundle for 600 euro. Damn. Damn. All right, bass. Kind of have this just like super fat static blah. We'll see. It's not like super interesting, but maybe it'll work. Some dub delay. Oh, yeah, on the snare too. Um, mark the loop. What? Like this? Mm <laughs> hmm. Okay, now, bass pattern, let's think. Let's just get that part down first. Boom. to the pattern here. Mm. 
No, it's not. Eh, ooh, ooh, eh. Eh, mm, eh. Yeah, something like that. It's the pigment sound, yeah. Uh, the piggy bank. What is it? In dub we trust. <laughs> I modified it a bit. I didn't really like how some aspects were, but now it's sounding great. Feel like a full turn should be there? What's that mean? Before, before the B flat? What, this? Before, I don't know what you mean. What's a full turn? Like a fill? Because this, I'm dropping the one on almost every uh, bar, the kick in the face, this is the tumpet, tumpy. Uh, the kick on in the drums needs to be fatter. A stylized trill note, trill above and below the following note, doo -doo -doo, that sort of thing, doo -doo -doo. like the melody does, you mean? Uh, that's the one. Right here, you talking about? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do, 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 do. To like mimic. Let's get this next part down. I'm eventually going to add guitar skanks. I prefer the electric bass sound. Oops. Inverted chords need kind of like high. Oh, this is the E flat. Should we just modify this to do it in E flat? It's kind of an interesting idea. Like this. So. 
sound stupid. So does this thing have independent reverb control in it? Sound, width. I actually like this, oh yeah, here we go. It's actually, oh I see, because they're gonna be doubling, yeah. Yeah, what's this? Full section, standard section, oh what is, this? oh this is like a sound, I see. I don't know where it was before and I've, I've messed it all up. I don't know. All right, let's send this to our verb just to like hear something good. layer this with a with something a synth or something for now let's try to get the guitar in and then we'll see how much else is required guitar okay and let's turn you off and I have no idea what this is gonna sound like Dissonatus, hey, yeah, uh, I know. I'm sorry about the time change thing. I really did not realize. Oh, I see. 
Oh God. Comes pre-distorted. Um. So yeah, let's try this. Let's see if this camera works here. Dupe. You can see. Oops. Guitar. So um, I need to just think about. Emmet, hello. I'm just gonna let it loop and I, I gotta think about what I'm doing here. Uh, and then we've got A flat. flat over E flat. Okay, let's try that. What is this? Keep it simple for now. Ugh. All right. process that in a sec. Um, could duplicate the bass with the little plucks as they do sometimes. Uh, how does this go? Uh, Maybe. Or... 
process this first and see what we actually need. Because that or the reverb on this is gonna take up some mix space. Boo doo boo doo do 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 do. Let's try uh, S gear today and see if we get something real quick. Oh, it's gonna switch this up. There we go. Uh, S gear, do you have? I hate how they don't organize their presets. Such a like look through all of them. Um, what? This is uh, the second part. I had I had already done the first part actually. Um, I know. Sorry, Vincent. <laughs> everybody did because I didn't think about the time change. I didn't know about the time change. Screw time changes. Um, just looking for anything that says like reggae or Marley. which isn't really happening here. So maybe we'll use this for uh, the rock section, but for now we'll use this, we'll use a guitar rig, how about? They probably got it sort of pretty good. All the voices will be people's names, yeah. <laughs> Importing rack presets, okay. Once we get this guitar sound down, we're gonna listen to the transition between the two parts so far, which be ridiculous. Yeah, apparently Canada is going to stop adjusting time. That's what I've heard anyway. So we'll see. Maybe next year or something would be great. If I just go reggae, <laughs> no results. No results for reggae. No results. Okay. Ambient blues, country, electronica, experimental, funk, and soul. Okay, screw it. We're just going to do it ourselves. Um, do I have a, a spring? What is this? This looks like something I don't actually have. Yeah. <laughs> looks like something I don't have. Um, what do I use for a spring verb? What do I have that's a spring verb? I never use spring reverbs, so I... I don't actually know, um, but yeah, like a dub. Start with that, maybe. Can we get a? Oh God. Hey, Red Sun, first time here. Guitar rig, yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Well, it's first time I've seen you here anyway. Like if someone was, was you know, had their shit together, they'd be like, oh yeah, here's my spring reverb and here's this. I don't have any of that stuff. I don't know what to do on this. I, I never use these things. Um... Where do I get a spring reverb from? <laughs> Who's got a spring reverb? <laughs> oh yeah, right, we're swung. We're swung. Um, in which case... a pedal for it. In fact, probably, prob hey, Darmolian, probably the uh, pedal board in Studio One has one. Wow, 
Well, I don't actually know that, but <laughs> I can hope. Re just reverb. <laughs> All right, let's try a guitar rig. Use your grandmother's built-in, but that's pretty niche. What, you mean on, on the amp? Uh, and then components, reverb, spring. <laughs> from Canada. Nice to have you here. Uh, what is a spring reverb? It's a reverb made from a spring, a physical spring. Uh, it's pretty cool actually, worth looking up. Here we're just gonna, I know I haven't really mixed this uh, other section yet and I haven't even finished it, but here we go. We're gonna listen to the first part going into the second part. bit of smoothing it's gonna work so now we can get a you know classics uh, crash on on the snare oops Open the hat. Sorry, right here.
trumpet sounds growing on you, yeah. It's not so bad. With If I had more time to work on this, it would work. Oops. Oh god, what am I doing? Eighth swing. Okay. Oops, not that. Uh, this. So here, well, okay, let's get the next part. Now what's a, uh, a another type of uh, reggae drum pattern? We could do like a one drop. that's going to work for this part but I'm thinking like less kicks is better here so we're going to kick it's going to hit with side stick and then we're going to have we're going to have this to this They do this thing, right? Where you hit the second triplet. Yeah. And they maybe do this. this yeah oops get rid of it it's kind of a hack job but it's okay for now I think I do want a piano right here, so we're going to uh, do another contact. What are we using for contact? Oh, this. Trumpy. Uh, we'll, we'll copy this just for ease of stuff. Remove this. Remove this. And remove this. And this is going to be not session horns, but... Let's use uh, the gentleman, perhaps. Hey, Pele. Hey, David. Like this. And then... Now here maybe we'll just do like some ring. Now what are these chords again? It's like and then uh, 
and then uh, what? Oh, then F, and then uh, and then what? Oh, then the thing. Oops. Uh, P, Anna. Uh, let's just try these and see. <laughs> Yo, Max, your course is dead ass helping me. Well, that's great. I'm happy to happy to hear that, David. <laughs> Let's try it up here first. Okay. A six chord here, or do I use a major seven? No, oh right, I use a, I use a thingamabob. You want a really good chord to always play? Take any bass note and then play a triad that's built on the fifth of that chord. Tough to beat. Hey elbow, you can do it in minor too. Got uh, where are we here? We're with this, and then we have um, oh, I changed this. Yeah, so this is going to be. drums. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get there fast enough. This is fine, this is fine, this should be more maybe like this. Ish. Hey Elbow, what's that trumpet you use again? I really needed it here and I don't have it. Now what, in place of a trumpet, can we use for a melody for this part? Oopsie. 
Yeah, I want to leave the guitar lead out because in the rock section I'm going to do that. I'm not going to have much time to do that rock section. I'm taking way too long here. What are these chords? D. Oh yeah, I said I wasn't going to use the seventh chords, but in this part we are. Screw it. chord and this is a string sharp. Okay, that's fine. Try a lead sax. That's possible. Pulsing warp bass. <laughs> Everything is made up. Welcome. Nice to have you here. And Moose Cannon. Hello. Okay, so, um, yeah. So the cool thing here is that's uh, too much theory to explain, but you get to hear like the F sharp, there's so many notes cha oh god there's so many notes changing in this part and it's i find it very pleasant and then it goes down to the f and then it goes down to the e and then it goes down to the d i think this should this should work yeah <laughs> the easiest so let's do that uh, let's just duplicate this track She is my muse, that's for sure. Since the day we met. Now, should we keep using this bass? It's pretty heavy handed for this part, hey?
What do you think? This kind of stompy thing? Or something that's like more gentle overall and just like long notes. get the clumpy unless he thinks this is clumpy then he gets it oh, this trumpet is just gonna bother me I really wish I had something nice let's um, let's layer a synth underneath it just quick before I move on to the rock section to see what's possible here um, You know when you look for things that are right in front of your face? Enable. Even this could be a lead. Let's make this a lead. Let's just go mono. Yeah. Stream gonna be an hour longer. Yeah, it's gonna be half an hour till I'm done, and then we're gonna listen to everybody. So probably it's gonna be an hour longer. I like the trumpet. Well, we're gonna layer it with this and see what we get. Still in the reggae, you're still in the reggae. I'm good. When it comes to rock music, I can move pretty fast. Uh, I don't really like how this sounds either, though. Maybe this can be the lead here. It's gonna be like, this is a new vibe now, but let's try it. I'm gonna move on to the rock section and then we'll just see. I'll come back and fix things if I have time.
Jim. Okay, thanks. Rock time. Rockety rock. Um, hey, thanks. I like the chiptune too. I did that uh, yesterday because I knew I wouldn't have time today. So, rock music. You guys like rock music? I'm gonna rock it. <laughs> Got my rocket monitors here. Okay, so rock's gonna have double time drums. By the way, if you're new to this, new to the stream, if you came recently, this was all done from a, a piano blueprint that sounds like this. I'm doing it in three styles. <laughs> Geology jokes. Rock doesn't really get this sophisticated so often, so it's gonna be good. <laughs> We're gonna have that. Yeah, but it's, I'm, like, I'm like way too fast, right? Less. Yo, Bean, hey, welcome. Um, you're getting quantized because I don't got time. <laughs> Triplet feel. We're back to the straight feel again. Oh my god. Why is that? Oh, it's eighth notes. Room, this, this room might be too kitty. This kit might be too roomy. I don't know. Bit too heavy handed. Now, do we like this or should we go like this? Probably. Can we, get, can we get less kid on these drums, please? <clears throat> Gate reverb on the snare. If I was Phil Collins, yeah. Okay, so let's just try this and just see what starts to come out of this. So we're going to have chuggy guitars and, uh, and a guitar lead. So let's see. Let's enable all these. Uh, okay, so. So, 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 let's go with, let's try S gear this time, maybe. Ah, no, screw it. It's too risky. Use guitar rig. And let's go genres. Rock guitar harmonies, indeed. Indeed. Um, genre, rock music, please. I want to play rock. Beautiful dirt. Do we have, like, lead? Stuff, uh, effects type char characters. What's that mean? Mm. Oh, there's so many. 
There's so many, I can't do it. Lead. Oh, here we go. So, let's just play it first and then we'll come back and fix all this nonsense. So. more distortion. Just DC friends, just found this live stream, major fan. I feel like I'm in the presence of musical royalty. Johnny is top, J J Joni, <laughs> Maxwell Joni is top shelf in an entire different league. Our present, oh my goodness. <laughs> I appreciate that. I completely disagree with that, but I appreciate it. Um, now, let's... So scratchy. Uh, this is why I don't play with single coils, man. Maybe I should play my other guitar. Hmm. Every little pick sound. Okay. Let's just get like a basic one so that we can put something underneath it. I literally hate that sound. push and pull it to get it. Is the parka still available? Indeed. But now this might work. Let's see. Nah. We need it for now, though. I can just straight like uh, this is dangerous but I'm gonna try it I'm a dangerous boy we're gonna just record it straight in already um, processed Still not great, no, it's not great at all. We might use the Parker to record the lead, but we'll start with this. Oh my God, I hate it. I just hate it every time I hear it. Uh... 
we should play drop D, because then we... Because then we can do like... Ish. Um, let's try. Squealy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't get a good one on here. Why not? <laughs> we'll get the squealy after. Let me just get this uh, thing down first. So. How does it sound if you pick a bit higher on the neck? What, with the squealy?
I'll try in a minute. that part. Oh, why you do this to me? Why, why, why? to like some whirling, you know, real stuff. Some real stuff. Okay, that's enough of that. How much time we have? Like 10 minutes, sick. Um, try the Parker on this and see how it fares. I haven't played this in a while. Sounds terrible. So it's just this amp setting, probably. Yeah, I just need a different uh, preset. Oh my god. A bit better. Oh my goodness, it's so noisy. My dis my <laughs> from running distortion into distortion. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna affect. It. Get that bend real accurate. Let's we'll see. Okay, let's just quickly tune this beast. Sorry. Oh, what? You're not gonna. You don't take the input when I don't listen to it?
Ish. did like a cool harmony here. Is that what they call boomer bends? Yeah, that is what they call boomer bends. There, no, thank you. Let's try. is this this is d f c d d a Theme for a boss battle, yeah. Oh, it's so noisy all the time. I haven't played distorted guitar in quite a while. Um, okay, then we've got this like... We'll just copy that. So this is uh... Right? A note B flat. Yeah. Right. 
right, so. Okay, so so we will um, uh, what's the word? Make this better. <laughs> right now, I'm just gonna grab a bass. I'm not gonna grab my actual bass because I don't have time to like get a, a good tone and everything. So instead, I will use. This, this, where are you at? There you are. And then you I guess I can switch this up. Um bass instrument. Picked electric bass. Take that. Let's take that and then we're going to go like this. And we're going to go. Do da 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 do da do do da do da da and then and then we've got the C thing. Actually, this can go like this. Oh, is it a double length? Yeah. In which case, it'll go like this.
Okay, now I need to quickly just get this down and then I'm not far off of completing this. Um, Zap. Okay, like this, like this. Delete the stuff. And then maybe like this time, the tone will be way chiller. accomplished. Got some lower string resonance there, but it sounds kind of cool actually. Okay, so then this track is going to be how many guitar rigs can you load before the computer explodes? Let's find out. This, and we're gonna go genre, alternative. And uh, character is gonna be clean as a bass. Could be. This is kind of cool too. So in which case the chords are These are standard presets. I don't make any presets for guitar rigs, so. I usually have my little box here, but I haven't set it up, my physical one, but I haven't set it up in quite some time. Um, then, what's the chord now? F. No, C over F. And then. We could just play. We could just play a G add nine. Like, uh, how does one play G add nine? Not like that. Like this. Ah. Uh, I know this section is really loud. I'm sorry. Compared to my voice, I will fix that.
ish. Hey, ego. <laughs> that last chord doesn't work, but we might just keep it. Um, now here. sharp with uh, F and uh, C. Yeah. All right. Let's try that. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Elbow. Might need to change that. Now the pick sounds better. Maybe this pick sounds better. Switch this back here. Get this guitar put away for a second here. Oops. Um, let's just see if we can change this tone a little bit to be something better. Like, I want like ambient. How do I get ambient? That's what I should have searched for. Ambient. Okay, there we go. Electric pad. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. one, sorry. Oh god. Dead tree. <laughs> yeah. Me too. <laughs> Holy. Okay, so rock section is sounding okay if just hella loud. Maybe without the click, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's funny, that riff in, in D there, do 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 that's like a D minor riff, even though the key isn't D minor at that moment, it really sounds it like changes the mode all of a sudden, which I didn't intend on doing, but it's kind of cool. So if we take these, Click is still, oh, it's still on. That bend is too slow. Oh well. I think my bass peak. Cut this, oops. Like this. Oh, this is so off time right here. Let's just do a little bit of a little bit of stuff like that. Okay, take this, like this, like this. Okay, and then drums, 15 minutes over time so far, you know, what are you going to do? Now here we need... slowly open the hat over time. Here we're going to go
It's okay. Let's try that again. very quickly a synth bass actually and let's choose something like Just see if this actually plays from beginning to end and sounds somewhat decent. is getting screwed up so my audio is going to drop out for a second here it's going to be back in some amount of time yeah that's a good point uh, <laughs> good point david thank you transition is disgusting. Um. How do we fix it? Um, we go... We go like this. <laughs> That's just tough. That's just tough to fix. Somehow, 
somehow make the rock guitar kind of like kind of fade into the new section? You mean like jin 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 building up here? Jin 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 jin. Just gonna use this track. Oh, it's not gonna work. Um, duplicate this. No. Just do this. This is gonna be just the last chord, which is gonna be. Um, ugh. Yeah, there's definitely ways to smooth the transition, but I don't really want to take much longer, honestly, because I don't know how many tracks we have to listen to today. We'll go with it. When I go to actually bounce it out to upload later, I'll fix some of the volume issues and whatever, but for now, oops, we good. Thanks guys, I'm glad you like it. Uh, yeah, that was tough, that was a challenge for sure. If I hadn't have done that, uh, switch the rock and reggae track order, yeah, maybe. <laughs> the rock thing, honestly, I, I should have gone with something else. It's a really strong sound. I probably should have gone, I mean, I, what I would have wanted to do is orchestral. Orchestral would be great for this melody, honestly. You can do something really beautiful with that. And then it would not have drums, like the other two have drums and that wouldn't, but I knew there's no way I'd be able to do it in time, so. You know? Life of the challenge organizer, I guess, right? What can I say? Uh, Alright, what do we got here? Challenges, challenge number 83. Oh, we got a few tracks. Jonah, you put two in, is that you? 
and uh, no, it's not you. Who is J? Or this is oh, this is this is from the previous one. Yeah, you uploaded two to this. That's right. I remember. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> hey, Jeremy, welcome. All right, so uh, if you're new, this is now where we listen to entries from everybody else. And if you want to be part of everybody else, you can be. You just go to the, de the description of this video, and there's a link in there for the Discord. And you can join the Discord, Sonic Sorcery, and then you can participate in the challenges, like all these fine, hyper-attractive people. Uh, number of entries today is 13. So, here we go. Starting with Shep. Oh, i got to get my little name on screen here. Hey? Like this. Hey, Shep was the last one here, too. Cool. There we go. Okay, Shep, it's called 3 to 1. Anyone who's joining now, the idea was you had to write a melody in chords, and then you had to use the same melody and chords for three different styles. So you use, that's a very poor way of explaining that, but <laughs> one chord melody combination broken out <laughs> into three different genres. I don't know how to say it. We're going to listen to it. Here we go. Shep, that was great. I think like in the second one, you didn't have the melody anymore, if I didn't hear anyway. And in the third one, you didn't have the chords anymore. <laughs> but I do really like what you did with it, and the transitions were great. Now we got uh, Chris Cummins with Chameleon. Chris, comma, comma, comma. Okay, I won't go there. Okay, Chris.
That was great, Chris. Nice work. I wonder what you call those three genres. That's what I was trying to figure out when I was originally going to plan mine. Everything I came up with was like not a nameable genre. You know, it's like some kind of minimal electronic thing, some kind of stuff that I normally do that mixes everything. You know, it's, it makes it a bit more difficult to like pick three and say these are going to be the three. So I wonder what you call that. Now we got Colonialist with one tune three. It's a clever boy. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> wow, that went by so fast. They were done in 30 seconds. All three were done by 30 seconds. Nice work, Colonialist. That was crazy. The kicks on that last drum kit. Wow. Boom. They're so thick for a rock drum kit. I like that. So like electro rock. DJ Vu now with like three, but still one. <laughs> okay, DJ. Great. Nice work, DJ. You got it. That reminds me, I forgot to put the squealy in my track. Damn. I have to go back and do that somewhere. Very cool, DJ. I like that. Good choices. Now we got uh, Dissonatus with Course of Life. What do we got?
Wow, nice job, Dissonantus. That was great. Very clever with the like references to various tunes at different stages of life. Good job. And yeah, with the chip tune. Okay. In the same wa same wavelength. Now we got uh, Naragon. Nargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargonadargon
30 seconds, it's over. <laughs> Minute and 30. Nice work, Moose Cannon. That was great. You had a sort of similar to idea to me in a way of like opposite, but you had, you know, a, a section with no melody followed by a section with melody. So there's always a break in it. You like introduce the beat and then show the melody over top. I like that. That's a good idea. Um, okay, now we got David, Pale Skinny Swede David, with The Trinity. Sounds epic. Nice one, David. You know it's a David track when the mix is just so smooth on the ears the whole time. I feel like there's just not any harshness going on. It's, just, it's always enjoyable. That's great. The melody in the beginning was so quiet, that piano, I had to like strain, honestly, to hear it. Otherwise, I thought it worked out really well. Nice work, especially for just in a few hours. Put me to shame here. Okay, now we got Fiffle with Bits, Wubs, and Rum. All right. By the way, uh, I can see that DC Friends, you're, you're back a bunch in the stream, and you're not going to hear this, what I'm saying right now, until much later, so it doesn't really matter. But you need to push the live button or refresh the page or whatever, because, um, yeah, you're, you're off the mark at the moment, so your comments are coming in in random spots. But I'm glad you like this and not us track. Okay, here we go, Fiffle. <laughs> wow. So sick. Damn. Love that. Love that. That was great. There's a maybe intentional weird spot there in the in the dubstep part where your drums were swinging but your basses were like totally straight. 
It made my brain feel weird for a while there. <laughs> Great work, though. Another uh, chip tune. I see why you said chip tune first, gang, because, yeah, three of us did that. That was awesome. Wow. Okay, Q. Q, are you here, Q? Well, with Sunset Drive. What's chip? Chip, chip tune means tunes, music, made on chips, like microchips, computer chips, in old game consoles and computers, like Nintendo and Game Boy and all that. That's what chip tune means, like 8 bit music. Sorry, this is Q now. Q with Sunset Drive. <laughs> nice work, Q. That was great. You always take a page out of my book, hey? You got like a different chord for every melody note, I think, in just about every track that you've uh, put through in the last challenges. Every time the melody note changes, the chord under is different. That's the way I live, too. Uh, okay, last up, we got uh, Three Thoughts by Omari. Stoked for this. Omari always delivers the bangers. Let's check it out. Amari. <laughs> wow, that was sick. Omari's man after my own heart, no doubt. Everything. I'm always like, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was great, Omari. Nice work. Got your vocals on there, too. That was cool. Here's my track once more. Um...
Yeah. Apart from that rock being kind of abrasive <laughs> at first, I generally like it. Uh, I like the rock breakdown anyway. The rest of it I'm kind of iffy on. Yeah, turned out well though. I had to go over time, of course, but that was a tall ask for just two hours and I had done that chiptune thing ahead of time. Damn, that was tough. Anyway, thanks guys. I'm glad that you liked it. Um, that was a lot of fun. We're going to have a new challenge tomorrow new challenge. There's so many good challenge ideas now in my list. I keep a whole list of all these ones. I haven't chosen what it's going to be for tomorrow because it's just too many that would be fun. I mean, what have we done recently? So this was kind of like three styles. So not, and then we had tasty triangles, which is kind of like a joke thing. So yeah, we're going to have to find something that s switches this up a little bit. Anyway, I'll look at that and post something tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you were able to be here too, Amari. It was great to have you. Uh, and then we're going to post these today on the Sonic Sorcery SoundCloud, which has over a thousand tracks. A thousand, more than a thousand tracks in the SoundCloud. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're going to... There's no TTM deal. There's no j joke. <laughs> I mean, it's in the works still. Who won that? Who, who's going to get that contract? It's the Tasty Triangles. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Going to have to add that to the radio. Yeah, a thousand, a thousand submissions. A thousand submissions. We're going to start uh, going through those submissions and actually choosing some featured ones. You know, I go back through the through the eons and find some featured tracks that we can make like a meta playlist that has kind of like some of the best of of all the submissions from all the challenges, which would be quite an endeavor. And if you if you want to do some of that for me, please do. Just go back and listen to anything and say, this track in particular is super sick and post it in suggestion box or whatever. That'd be great. Uh, make sure it's all your own tracks. Go back and just listen to all your own and say, hey, I really like all these ones. There seems to be a through line between these challenges of the best tracks since me or you, or whoever it is. Yeah, so good to be with everybody here. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow new challenge. Th Thursday, we're going to have a listening party. If you haven't attended one of those yet, they're a lot of fun. We just hang out and listen to music together, like just actual music. And we sit down and just have a drink and snack and listen and talk about it as we go. So that's going to be Thursday. Next Sunday, we'll have a new community event, which I think is currently not planned at the moment. Anyway, uh, thank you all for being here and for all your support for me and the community. It's a beautiful thing, and the, the Discord community is a wonderful place. So thank you for making that what it is and for upholding it to be the standard that it is in terms of your music and the way that you help everybody out and whatever. It's just wonderful. So, yeah, thanks for being here today on the stream as well. And I'm going to see you all soon. So if you're not in the Discord, please join Please join. The link is in the description. We'd love to have you there. It's true. Okay, everybody. Uh, have a good rest of your day wherever you are, and I will see you soon. <laughs>